Stay tuned for the latest message excerpt from josephprince.com. So Jesus says, no one has, no one takes my life from me. Okay? We use the word Jesus was murdered, but no one takes his life from him. They had many chances. He just walked through their midst. They cannot even stone him. That's power. But the time came for him to give his life as our sin substitute. When the soldiers came to arrest him, brandishing their staves and swords, and Jesus asked the question, you know, home seek ye, they said, we seek Jesus. He just said, I am. They all fell. They all fell. Strong soldiers fell before him. And he waited for them to get up to capture him. I'm sure he did that. You have found me. Let the disi- my disciples go. Cool. He's a manly man. And when they brought him, they brought him to and fro to Caiaphas' house. Caiaphas, the high priest. Josephus tells us that there were numerous high priests from Aaron, the original one, all the way down to Caiaphas. And none of the, the priests ever tore their garment because it was forbidden, forbidden of high priests to tear the, the high priest's garments. It's in the book of Exodus. I've taught on that in my teaching on the garments of the high priest. But when Jesus stood in front of him and says, I adjure you, he was very quiet. Jesus was quiet. He didn't want to say anything until the part where he was commanded in the name of God. I adjure you by God, since his father is involved. Tell us, are you the son of the Most High? He looked up, he says, I am. In a few other Gospels, he says, you say, I am. You say that I am. It's the strongest emphatic statement. What you say, that I am. And the high priest did this. He tore his garments. That was in the movie. I'm glad that Mel kept that. And he did something forbidden. You know why? Because the Levitical, the law, priesthood came to an end before the Melchizedek priesthood. The priesthood of grace. The law priesthood of do good, you get the blessings. Do bad, you get the curses. Ended in front of Melchizedek priesthood. When Melchizedek first met Abraham, his mouth is filled with nothing but blessed be Abraham, blessed be God. That's the Melchizedek priesthood. He tore his garments. I like the part because a tear fell down Jesus' face and they started hitting him. They started spitting him, spitting on his face. And it's prophesied in Isaiah, I kept my, you know, Isaiah 50 verse 6, I gave my back to those who struck me and my cheeks to those who plucked out the beard. They plucked out his beard. Not just one, two, three. All right? Those people in the hall, they start plucking out his beard. I did not hide my face from shame and spitting. Not just one guy spitting. All of them started spitting into his face. You know, one of the worst things that can happen is for someone to spit at you. Even towards your direction is bad enough. Your legs, very bad. Your body, that is major World War III. <laughs> Somebody spits in your face. Not just one of them. All of them. The Son of God. Greater than the angels. Greater than Moses. Being spat. The face of God. The same face that Mary at times would just brush away from the cherubic cheeks as she hold that baby. So close your eyes and sleep for a while. Morning will come. So sleep. As the virgin sings that lullaby. That face is now spat on. Shame. Do you know why God allowed His Son to take spitting and shame? So that you will have double honor. It wasn't His shame. He had no. I established that in Him is no sin. He did no sin. He knew no sin. So whose shame did He take? Our shame. It's our shame. He paid for our shame. Isaiah 61, instead of your shame, you shall have double honor. You got no shame? 
just normal honour. <laughs> but because those who have shame, because of what Jesus did, Jesus did more for you then. Therefore, you received double portion, yeah. double honour. Yeah. Hey, listen, listen. David has 18 sons and seven wives. Many sons, one daughter. 18 sons, one daughter, seven wives. Of all the sons, of all the wives, who did God choose? The one that people whisper, she's the one that he committed adultery with, Bathsheba. That's the one, that's the one. That's the one that David, well, I think uh, she got her claws. She was aiming to get him. For that woman, compared to the other wives of David, she has double honor because of all the 18 sons. God chose her son, Solomon, to become king. Mm. For your shame, you shall have double honor. Those who don't have shame, normal honor. For you, double honor. Yeah. And the double honor be such that, I'm telling you the truth, folks. Sometimes I look at people that I know about their past and all that, but I cannot remember anymore. I know they did something. All right? Because the, the glory that God has put on them, the favor and all that, is so overwhelming, it swallows up whatever happened in the past. This excerpt is brought to you by josephprince.com. To get the full message, visit josephprince.com. In the theme of the year, this is what God said to me, it's going to be the year of greater glory. And that's what the Lord impressed on me really strong as I was preparing this, to tell you all, all right, all of you have glory, all right, but it's a year of manifested glory. Greater glory means people are going to see the glory in your life. Thank God for Pastor Prince. I had four lumps in my breast. The doctor said it was cancer. Jesus healed me. I was struggling with a lot of fear. It was really gripping me. And I listened to that sermon and it, it really, it freed me. It released me of all of that bondage. I walk, I have no brain damage, I have no memory loss. I was completely restored. I am literally pain free today. All have sinned and forfeited the glory, which means we come short of the glory, we fall short, we are lacking of the glory. But Jesus came to give us back the glory. I said, Jesus came to give us back the glory. They asked me to come back, and then they paid me for the 21 days that I was fired. And I was just like, that's much favor. And, promo and promotion, and I got a promotion at the same time. The Lord elevated me out of that place. I mean, I have uh, a great job, great benefits. My kids are doing well. Marriage is, is so, so much better. I became free knowing that there was no condemnation for me. That Christ saved me, He saved me totally from the beginning to the end. I'm hopelessly saved. And it's the year of greater glory. <laughs> wow! Wow! Praise the Lord! So, when darkness comes, the Bible says His glory will be seen upon you. The first result, your family is blessed. The second result, they will all come, all right? They will all come to you. Did you hear that? You are blessed this year. No man can reverse it. 